So, greetings from Kazwa, and here is the famed ground hopping mobile, which is in for a rather busy weekend indeed. Uh, it is Saturday, March the 9th, and yesterday, Friday, March the 8th, was International Women's Day. So, I thought that I might take the occasion to uh, share with you an issue that's very, very close to my heart. Uh, I am a men's football writer, but I've been covering the women's game uh, pretty much continuously on a volunteer basis since 2011. So I wanted to take you to not one but two Frauen Bundesliga fixtures this weekend. First up, we're headed to Germany's commercial and financial capital Frankfurt to the Brentanobad Stadion to check out Women's Champions League qualified Eintracht Frankfurt Frauen. And Eintracht is one of those clubs um, <clears throat> in German women's football. It's only been recently that uh, some of the larger clubs have consolidated some clubs that were exclusively for women. Uh, Borussia Dortmund did this, FSV Mainz 05 did this, and so did Frankfurt. It used to be the old uh, FSV Frankfurt Frauen. So I've actually never been to a Frauen Bundesliga match since the merger, since they became Eintracht Frankfurt. And it's a big, big match against FC Bayern München, which means we're going to see a lot of the German national team, the women's national team stars, directly in action. Uh, Laura Freigang, Nicole Agnomi, uh, Sophia Kleinherner, uh, Sarah Dorsoon, just to name a few, those are the ones that play for Eintracht. And in Bayern have Julia Gwynn, Clara Bühl, Lea Schüller, uh, <clears throat> just to name three off of the top of my head. There's uh, plenty of international stars uh, that are going to be on hand as well. Uh, Sarah Zadrazil is going to be playing for Bayern. Uh, we'll also have uh, Geraldine Reutela, the great Georgia Stanway. Um, I think it's Glodis uh, Vigostotir also plays for Bayern. So we're going to see, oh, and Linda Sembrandt, uh, the Swedish uh, veteran, plays there. So we're going to see a lot of stars for the German national, uh, women's national team and for, <coughs> you know, the, the world. I'm trying to think if I forgot anyone. Pernille Harder, the Danish superstar, also plays for Bayern. It's very interesting what's been going on with women's football in, in Germany in recent years. It was always Bayern and Wolfsburg, uh, but now some of the other clubs are coming up, like Hoffenheim, and of course the club that we're going to see today, Eintracht. So I'm going to the Brentanobad Stadion. Uh, it's capacity of about uh, between five and 6,000, uh, depending on how many standing places they admit. And last I heard, it's going to be a packed house with all of these stars on hand. So come on, we'll hop in the ground hopping mobile and we'll take you to Frankfurt. She's a tour! She's a tour! She's a tour! Auf geht's! Einfach, she's a tour! She's a tour! She's a tour! She's a tour! She's 
Back here in Council now, what a fantastic afternoon at the Botano Bad. Great atmosphere, wonderful people. I know I didn't necessarily get the best shots of the match, but that was because I was conversing with family groups, with people young and old. We were talking a little bit about the football, the women's match, all that good stuff. We've got some wonderful swag uh, to show you. Uh, in addition to my women's Champions League scarf, we also have an official Eintracht Frankfurt 125 years Jubiläums Schal. Uh, these were on sale there in commemoration of Eintracht's 125th birthday. You also got these really little cool sleeves to take your swag home in. 125 Jahren Eintracht Frankfurt. And on the inside of these sleeves, they have some really nice history uh, about the club. The script itself uh, from the club's original founding and its original founding members is what forms the basis both for these sleeves and the special tricot that I want to show you. This is what the men will be wearing in Deutsche Bank Park uh, tomorrow. They have um, <clears throat> these wonderful anniversary tricots that they'll be donning in their match against Hoffenheim. Good luck to them. Hopefully, unlike the women, they'll win. And at the Bund, you can even get them stamped with the name of your favorite Eintracht Frankfurt uh, Frauen Bundesliga player. I went ahead with Nicole Anyomi. She's my favorite, uh, number 19, and I got two of these for my friends. So thanks to everyone who attended and brightened my afternoon. 
Uh, thanks to uh, DAZN, who did a wonderful job covering the match and also allowed us to uh, get close in there to watch the post-match interviews, celebrations, and things like that. That's one of the, the reasons why it's such a great idea to go to a Frauen Bundesliga game. Uh, it's a great atmosphere. You meet good people, lots of family groups there, and you can also meet the stars. You can introduce your daughter to the stars if you so desire. So, so very, it's a good day to be a... Uh, women's footballing advocate. And don't forget that Frauen Bundesliga weekend rolls on with a trip to the historic Dreisam Stadion tomorrow. Well, good morning. The ground hopping mobile is back in action today as we head to Freiburg uh, for the second part of Frauen Bundesliga weekend in honor of International Women's Day. I still got my uh, Frankfurt uh, Schale from yesterday on. Uh, the colors are more or less the same, so I think I can, I can fit in there. Um, we're going to go to the historic Dreisam Stadion, uh, which the men used to play in, one of my favorite German footballing cathedrals. It's absolutely wonderful. Can't wait to show it to you. And as I was talking about yesterday, uh, Freiburg and their opponents today, Leverkusen, uh, are some other women's teams on the march. Uh, Leverkusen qualified for the Champions League as well. So we're expecting a good game. Uh, there's going to be a lot of friendly and fun people there. And we're off to the dry sum. Come on, ground hopping mobile, more miles for you.
Schützer wurde die SC Schiffsbücher neu geschrieben. Und die Kapitänin Hase Kaichi hat ihre 186 Bundesligaspiele für unseren Sportdruck gemacht. Das 186. Spiel für die here in Karlsruhe now. Unfortunately, <clears throat> there, uh, the merchandise shop there at the Dreisamstadion was not open, so I couldn't get any new uh, SA Freiburg merch. But check this out. Blast from the past. Relic. Actual physical match day programs. This is not, I did not mock this up. This is, uh, these are real programs. You can see they, they did the Leverkusen side uh, in there as well. Such a pleasure for us older football fans, us older diehards. To, uh, to have a physical copy of the match day program available for us because so many of uh, professional football clubs, particularly the men's clubs, have discontinued them. Everything's electronic now. So I went ahead and uh, there she is, Hasrat uh, Kahikchi. Um, she was the woman of the match. She was honored before the match. Wish we had some more goals to show you, but it was still a fun time at the old Dreisam Stadion. I can't believe I finally got to make it back there. I thought after the Europa Park Stadion opened, I'd never get a chance to be back in the Dreisam. Uh, but it was fun. Uh, the atmosphere was great. So many friendly and nice people to meet whenever you go to a Frauen Bundesliga match. And this wraps up our Frauen Bundesliga weekend. Hope you enjoyed it and happy International Women's Day. All this cool stuff together. All this really cool stuff. Happy Women's Day!